a lot of the pop has left. You know, there's not a lot of places where football is important to the community. The pop still has that, that small town community flavor uh, that, you know, I think a lot of people wish they still had. Get your blue darter, had her visor. The blue darters uh, came into being in the early 1930s. So for around 80 years, uh, we've been pulling for that team. Popka High football is a, it's a gathering point where people can come together and, and be one. Uh, it's just a real rallying point for a community like Apopka. When you talk about Apopka football now over the last 13 years, you know, we've been in the, in the state playoffs, so it's almost an expectation of, of our folks to, uh, you know, see us in the playoffs, to, uh, you know, have good seasons. Live here at the Citrus Bowl where tonight the championship for District 8A will take place. We don't have a lot of guys that people consider Division I players, but I wouldn't trade them for anyone. The heart and the character they've shown all year and the brotherhood and the belief, it just, I'm very blessed and humbled to be a part of it. Touchdown, Blue Darter. Oh, we did it. We did it. What a game. Look at the crowd. Look at the crowd. See the community get behind them and support them and, and love on them and brag on them. These are memories that are never going to go away from them. He's he's not raising football players. Um, he's raising young men. Winning the state championship or how, however well we do uh, is not the end of what they're doing, but only the beginning of what they do. We use football as a vehicle to teach life's lessons. We talk a whole lot more about off the field and having character, and integrity, and honor, and those type of qualities than we do about blocking and tackling and winning.